Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, Simply Love, and I am here to do your video, and this is going to be for the sign of Capricorn for June 2015, and um, the cards that I'm going to be reading from, I'm going to show you the deck, it's uh, the new Mythic Tarot cards, it's by Juliet Sherman Burke and uh, Liz Green. Some people like to see the cards that, you know, that's being read to them. And um, I'm going to do two extra cards for you at the end as a bonus for you, for my lovely subscribers out there and those who share my videos. I want to give you an extra card, which is going to be Ascended Masters. That's by uh, Dorian. Um, oh. Ascended Masters, or or these are Oracle cards. This is Dorian Virtue. Her cards are really beautiful. And the last bonus card I'm going to give you is the Lover's Oracle cards. That's by Tony Carmine Scenario. Okay. So, with that being said, if um, this is just a general reading, just keep that in mind. It's not going to resonate with every Capricorn in the world. It, it, it's going to resonate to some of you. Um, if you like, it's just a general reading. If you like a detailed reading from me, um, my information is, is below in the de in um, in the description. Uh, how you can get in touch with me and set an appointment, and we can sit down and have a uh, a reading. Um, and it is a full detailed reading, which takes about an hour, hour and a half for each customer that I have. Okay. So with that said, we're going to get on with the reading for Capricorn and see what's going on with you for the month of June. Now, for the first week, I'm pulling up the Page of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Pentacles um, is a, a, a young person. It could be a boy or a girl. Um, it may, Capricorn, be your child, maybe. Um, you know, maybe it's uh, your child, Um uh, and it, and we're gonna look at this as being a boy or girl, like I said, and this um, uh, is a earth sign ch child, or it could be an adult. It could be an adult that maybe um, could have some tendencies of of uh, um, immatureness in them, but this person is really grounded. You know, it, it's an herb sign. It's a Taurus, Virgo, or a, a Capricorn person. And it looks like if you look in the fields, like they've been working really hard. And uh, the money that they make, uh, they're really holding on to it very tightly, uh, this person. Um, uh, it looks like they worked hard. If you look in the field, you see where they look like they've been plowing the fields and, you know, growing uh, growing something or making something happen for themselves, or you know, even it could be some of you that may be um, Capricorns uh, that know this person could be overworked, you know, or they could be working too much and just focusing too much on their self and uh, holding on to some, you know, when it's pentacles, you know, it's money, so they're holding on to money very tightly, they're, they're very holding on to their wealth or whatever they make they're holding on to it because uh they they did all the work you know but it's, sometimes it's not good to hold on to money too tightly sometimes you have to give in order to receive so this is either a young person that is out there working or, you know it can even be schooling you know a child is in school and they're working too and they're you know, making money and, um, you know, like I said, they're hold it looks like they're holding on pretty tight to that money. It don't look like they want to let it go. They got both hands like this, like it's all mine. You can't, you know, don't be selfish. If this is, um, uh, you know, someone around you that, you know, um, you know, teach them to give, it's better to give than to receive. I know you work hard for your money and I know you want to hold on to it, but there's sometimes you have to, you know, give in, in order to receive for your heart, even for your hard work. There's others out there that that's, that's in need. I'm feeling this person around some of you Capricorns, either a young person, 
maybe a, a, a somebody in college or a teenager, somebody around you that, you know, re you really taught them a, a good work, work ethics. They have really good work ethics, but they seem to some of you Capricorns, this boy or girl or or an adult who may have who may be a little immature when it comes to uh sharing or they could be a little selfish um uh selfishness I'm getting here so you need to kind of like they got to not hold on so tight whoever this person is around you capricorn and then for the second week I'm getting um, hmm, the two of swords here for you Capricorns. There's a decision that you have to make. Some of you Capricorns has to make a decision. And this decision could be in a relationship wise where there's two people involved. And um, uh, you have to make a decision between the two. It could be for some of you Capricorns that there may be um, uh, make a decision on... Um, whether you want to stay or whether you want to go um, or whether you want to let this person go. You could be, uh, some of you Capricorns out there could be undecided, uh, uh, you know, just undecided about something, an uh, issue. It could pertain uh, to this young person here or middle-aged or immature adult here that is a, 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 um, a earth sign uh, about this money that they're holding on to. There, there, there may be uh, some decision that you have to make about what to do about this person here being selfish and, you know, not wanting to share. Um, yeah, they worked hard and things like that, but still they have to have some kind of giving in, in order to receive. So this message to some of you Capricorns, like I said, uh, it, it, if it's a relationship issue, there are two people involved in this relationship and a choice has to be made. And it's like nobody's making a choice. Nobody. Nobody's making that choice. They're just, it's like you're stuck. You're stuck in between two people and don't know which way to go. And you're just standing there not making this choice. Um, there, and it, it causes, this is, this is causing some of you Capricorns is, is going to, is going to cause a lot of grief and pain, emotional pain. Um, um, some of you <clears throat> may have to, some of you Capricorns may be going through some, maybe some legal decisions, making some decisions about something legally, um, something being withheld by one person uh, for the other. Um, it, trust issues. Um, this could be something to where um, there's a split, you know, a split decision. It's like, you can't win for losing a split, uh, not making a move, just standing there, knowing there has to be some type of communication, knowing, or just, you just stop in your tracks. Some of you Capricorns out there, or it could be someone around you with this situation, just stopped in track in your tracks. You don't know which way to go. Um, you're not making a decision at all or holding somebody, you know, uh, just holding somebody there, uh, because you can, some of you Capricorns out there holding somebody hostage because you can, uh, uh, maybe just, Maybe it's a, a battle between two women wanting one man, wanting this one man. Uh, it could be, it could be that this person may already have someone, and then there's another coming in wanting this person. Like I said, it's it's, it's a herb sign. It's, it's a Virgo, a, a Capricorn, or Sagittarius. I'm sorry, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's not. What am I talking about? I'm still thinking about this person right here for some reason. Sorry about that. Um, 
anyway, <clears throat> this is indecision here. This is, and <clears throat> this also could be for some of you Capricorns may be in a situation to where one, a person could already be married or together with somebody and you're in the middle of it. You know, some of you Capricorns may be in the middle of um, some type of uh, marriage situation where it's like sneaking around with one another and the other person finds out, but they're just like almost like a duel, you know, like a duel of who's going to get who or who they're going to be with or what this kind of decision uh, that they're going to make. Some of you Capricorns out there, you're just in some kind of uh stand alone not making a decision um of, of of or not making a choice or in the middle of somebody else's relationship uh could be three way relationship going on here one may be taken and um the other you just may be playing around with you know it, it, you know it might be some type of you know you just Whichever one you feel like you want to um, be with, and um, it, 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 but they're demanding a, a decision. It seems like they may be demanding a decision from you, Capricorn, or it could be the other way around. They, uh, you could be um, demanding a decision from you know uh, one of these women here. Uh, you know, one may be taken, one may be single. Uh, which one would be best for you? You're gonna have to make a decision on this, Capricorns. Man or woman, no matter what relationship, just some kind of three-way relationship or some kind of a decision that needs to be made or somebody's holding somebody's back or somebody's going behind somebody's back and or, or trying to uh, get in with somebody that already has somebody and taking advantage of one that is single and the other is married or taken. This could be deception here. Wow, that just popped right out of my hand and fell. I guess they say enough of that, okay? I guess you got the picture. See, because there's clouds all on top of you. There, there, there. This is a mess right here. This is, this is some kind of mess going on here. That's not good, and and it needs to be a decision made here. And you can't hold nobody hostage in the middle. You can't hold them hostage, and then want to be on this side trying to get. Uh, get this person okay for some of you Capricorns not all of you and I see here uh, on around the third week there's a cause for some celebration for you Capricorns there's a cause there's some celebration this could be a celebration of an engagement um, you could finally you know make a decision on this person that you want to be with you know, or they may have made a decision on them wanting to be with you. It could be somebody, it could be somebody from the past that's coming in that wants to uh, uh, reestablish a, a relationship, but there's somebody in the middle there that don't want to let you go and you are trying to get them out of the picture to be with them, but they keep showing up. I, I feel like some of you Capricorns, whether it's a man or a woman that, you know, they may be standing in the middle of uh of you Capricorn trying to move forward with this other person um another which is another scenario but I know it, it, it finally I believe a decision is made here because of this card of celebration this is a, a um a, it could be you know good times it could be a, a marriage proposal it could be um two people getting it you know getting engaged or you know Two people finally coming together as um, some uh, to celebrate an engagement or to celebrate something. Maybe somebody's having a child. Um, maybe, uh, like I said, the decision was made to um, who you want to be with or who wanted to be with you, Capricorn. Maybe you got what you wanted. You know, maybe you finally made that decision, but you were stagnant. Therefore, you were stagnant. You were at a halt. You didn't know what to do. You was in a situation there, but it looks like there was a cause for celebration. So you probably got out your, or will be getting out of that situ three-way situation and coming to a decision which will cause 
for celebration, for some type of love. It even could be business wise. You know, you could find a business partner to work with you doing on some kind of project or something. Because, hey, all I can say, hey, you, you can't go you can't go wrong with the ace of cups because that just celebration and good things to come after celebration this is the big love card i mean you know just love um it's it's, it's like letting your hair down and opening up your heart and just expressing how you feel about this person it's like you've been closed up you know, for a while there, you've been stagnant, you know, you haven't been saying much, but this is a, a, a celebration of love for you. Some of you Capricorns out there is a celebration of love, overflowing of love. I mean, just, just coming buck naked to somebody and just, just, just tell it all how you feel, everything that you've been holding inside, because, it, you know, you had a decision to make, either you're going to, you know, let it go and fall in love and, 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 and follow your heart, which it looks like that's what you're like, what you're doing Capricorn or what somebody's doing for you to you either way. Um, um, I believe this this is you capricorn uh capricorn earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that's you that's you working too much working all hard and holding on to your money and being all stubborn and and holding on tight to that money and being like all like this is all mine look all the, you know yeah you work hard you're a hard worker yes you are but you do have to give sometimes. You have to let go and be a giver and, and decide on relationships that you want. Open up your heart, which you finally looks like you do around the third week of June. You're going to really let loose and you're going to really make a decision. It's going to be a cause for celebration. And this might be a celebration of marriage, engagement, love even love for a family member or something, maybe a rekindling of something that was deep in your heart and, and, and then you rekindled it and it just like, is like a, this is a overflowing of love and, and, and emotional, and an over abundance of emotions, this card is. So this is happiness and this is, you know, freedom because they're naked. So they're just letting go. They're just letting their hair down and they're letting go. And they're just going to just, it, they're just going to pour their heart out to you, uh, Capricorn, or you're going to be pouring your heart out to somebody. And it's going to be cause for celebration because it, this was a long time coming for you. You took a long time to get here, but you, you got there Capricorn or somebody. It took them a long time to get to you with this. But it's coming either way, vice versa. Either way, man or woman is coming. They're going to express. And guess what? With your oracle card to top the whole thing off, it's going to be a power of joy. That's you, Capricorn. A pa Look at you. A power of joy. The rainbow above your head. The light around you. You're going to be so happy, Capricorn. So happy. You're going to be so full of joy. And I'm so happy for you Capricorns out there that this resonates with. Everybody deserves happiness. Everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves to be and feel loved for real. Not the fake stuff. The real stuff. Not the uh, materialistic things, but joy and happiness and true love overabundance of love over expression of love this could be even you know you you uh <laughs> so overwhelmed that you 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 know you may even cry over this situation that you have so much joy that came out of it all this that was built it could have been a built up thing something building up inside and you were afraid to release it or 
your partner could have been. I'm looking at this as a partnership type of thing, either business or a uh, relationship, more like relationship because it's a, a, a bunch of cups, these cups that's coming together here uh, as a good partnership. Uh, in business or good partnership in a relationship it finally came to a decision there was a decision made and it was a good one it was a very good one because you're getting over abundance of love out of it okay an overabundance of joy an overabundance of of love and and you're standing you're naked so you're just just like i said you're just going to let your hair down and just let go and you're going to you're going to express your feelings to somebody capricorn and that power and joy so we're going to get to the last which is your oracle card of love capricorns for some of you capricorns out there this resonates too we want you to look inside yourself Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. <laughs> that just goes with, you know, the power of joy, <laughs> the ace of cups, which is overabundance of love and care, feelings, joy, happiness, everything that you're letting it all out that you were let, uh, holding in, celebrations of some sort of kind uh, of couples making that decision finally and not holding on so tightly to to things material things mean nothing they don't go with you when you go you know all that goes with you is your memories of life so live life love have peace joy and happiness and that's all starts with you the inside of you you know it has to begin with you for all this to take place that, that's that's self-work right there you have to be happy with inside yourself and 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 once you're happy with inside yourself it's an overabundance of joy and happiness and love that comes to you what you put you I'm throwing this card out to the universe for everybody in the whole wide world I don't care who you are I don't care what you've done I'm throwing this here ace of cups card here this is for some of you Capricorns out there. God bless you. You know, much happiness to you. But I'm throwing it out there for 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 everybody in the whole world to experience this. Experience this once in your life before you go, because it'll be the your memories is the only thing that's going to live on with with your soul is the memories of of people, places, and things. Okay. So with that said, I'm all done, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I really enjoyed giving you this reading. Um, and if um, it resonated with you, good. If you need more information, the information is below how to contact me for more detailed reading for some of you. Um, to see, you know, detail by detail. My readings last at least an hour, hour and a half. You know, so if you need, you know, any any personal, um, uh, you know, talking or, you know, something that you need to hear more of, you know, in between this, because this only resonates to some, not all. Um, just just go ahead and get my information below. And I just want to thank you and say, you know, love is all there is. And hey, love is all there ever be. Be abundant. Be overfilled with love within yourself and watch it just come to you. It's just going to come to you because you know what? We're throwing it out there in, in the universe. And then guess what? It's going to swing right on back to us. This is for all of us YouTubes. This is for the whole wide world. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you for viewing my videos. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for um, subscribing to my videos. And I really enjoy you. I enjoy being here. And I will catch you Capricorns next month. Love you all. Love is all there is. And what? Love is all there ever be. You take care and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.